Hey, I'm the Kaplan Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager 2022, and we're on episode number five. We're, of course, still in this first season and checking in on some progress for Uni. She's played 10 tournaments. Our, our goal for this season is not to turn her into the junior number one. I was mentioning this previously. Our short-term goal is to simply train her up as much as possible and then achieve her minimum goals, which was to get into the top 200, and we're there. But also our secondary objective was to complete enough tournaments to get our sponsorship bonus, which was 20. We've completed 10 of those. So I've been looking at the calendar a little bit, and right now we're scheduled up through 15 of those tournaments. So we'll only need five more over the course of the season, and for us, that's going to ease things out. We're going to get a lot more training in as time goes on, as long as we stay healthy. That Meanwhile, getting to train two out of the last three weeks is allowing us to grow a little more rapidly in terms of progress. Forehand power just finally got uh, out of the red zone and into a level four. Uh, agility has gone up to level 12. Tactical skills has gone to uh, level 11. So we've had three increases over the last week and you see we have quite a few skills that are pretty close to upgrading as well our next tournament tournament number 11 is our ninth junior 60 tournament and we have won five of them uh, including something like five no it's not five straight but we have won five uh, tournaments out of 10 that we've competed in and all five wins have been at the junior 60 level I think we're definitely in the we need to move on from Junior 60, so the the later end tournaments, this is 11. I said we're scheduled through 15. I think 13, 14, 15 are all 100 levels, so we're pushing it up to a higher level. But we've still got to get through 11 and 12 here uh, where we're at the 60s. Let's see if those both translate into victories. First set. Straight into set. the final uh, we had an easy run of games against easy opponents. The first match that we have had that was not labeled easy is this one, and it's against the two seed. So the, this is the one player in the field that's good enough to actually offer us a challenge. Another reason why we need to move on from these Junior 60 tournaments. Uh, we have progressed rapidly enough that we are now just beyond this level so let's speed this up we'll see how it goes it's a junior 60 tournament i really don't care much actually uh, whether we win or lose this and i think the second tournament regardless of whether we make the final or not we'll quick sim right on through that one and get straight to what those results are because honestly this is just too low of a level for us now we're not overmatched, and when it has been somebody that we are supposedly equal with, it's been easy going. And you can see here, 5-1 in the opening set. We're supposed to be balanced, but we're not. We're, we're quite a bit ahead. So there is set number one. Let's get into set number two. Yeah, same idea. We'll push quickly through this one. The opponent does win. Uh, the Canadian does win here in the well, two of the first three games. So we're, we're getting uh, certainly a bigger challenge in set number two than we did in set number one. And chance to break here, and that puts us up 5-4. We're now on match point here, obviously with a much more closely contested second set, but that ball goes a little long, and that is game, set, match. That second set was the only close set that we had in this tournament. The rest were all... Six ones, six twos. I think the worst one we had was we had a single six three, uh, and we had a few six zeros along the way. So it was, it was pretty, pretty much in our favor all the time. Huge week for training, as we have gained six attribute points this week: serve power and accuracy, both going plus one. The volley and lob both going plus one, though they're still atrociously bad at three. Uh, natural fitness going plus one to a 12 now and then positioning going plus one to a nine that is our weakest mental skills so bringing that along is obviously a good thing 
Good news to that 12th career tournament is not another 60. It is a 100 level. So we are progressing now to the third tier and it's 100 level or better from here on out. We're, we're over the 60 level stuff. Six victories in, what, nine attempts? Pretty confident that, that we are beyond that level now. 100 level, you know, uh, could be too easy for us but maybe not we'll we'll find out we enter this one as the four seed we're up to 120 in the junior rankings now i wouldn't necessarily mind losing a few of these because our ranking is progressing so fast where do you set your goals where do you set your objectives when you're too good when you're that good we want to spend most of our time training i don't want to have to focus on doing a ton of tournaments i want to turn this player into a world-class player not just the best junior we want to be world class sooner rather than later and that requires training more than anything else but anyway let's go ahead and get into this tournament it looks like at least the first couple of rounds should be easy for us uh, we might pick up with a later round and see how we're doing there looks like the semi semi-final is going to offer us uh, more competition than what we would see in the final i can't quite see it behind me but the the neither of the other semi-final players are ranked you have 291 and 252, which is pretty similar to what we've been going up against in the junior 60s. What we do have, though, in the first semifinal, as in our matchup, is the one and four seeds, 106. That's the highest ranked opponent I think we have gone up against so far. Let's see how this one compares. Actually, it looks like it's going to be an easy match. So let's... Go ahead and simulate because it's not the final and apparently it's going to be an easy match we'll see if that's actually the case it is 6160 on this one that's going to take us to our first hundred level final and presumably it's going to be an easy one so we'll go pretty quickly through it but it's a final and it's our first hundred level so let's go ahead and play this one out first set all right, so straight into this one, but straight into a quick match if they think it's going to be easy and if we got past the what should have been the more challenging semifinal and even then, I guess those six attribute points we picked up are putting us on a, a new level. We're we're just we're too good for these lower level junior tournaments now, uh, especially with the balancing. The balancing, uh, according to some, has only been addressed partially and not fully uh, the next update is supposed to work on the balancing a fair bit and hopefully that comes sooner rather than later that ball looked like it may have caught a piece of the line but it was called out and we are back on advantage with the opportunity to win this opening set and we do it's 6-1 set number two already on match point it's 5-1 and we repeat what we did in the first set with a 6-1 set victory and that is game set match and that is our first 100 level final victory and we definitely need to step it up even from there already it would appear anyway it's the second day of the month and we just finished uh an upgrade on the or whichever one it was I think the Balnea therapy is the one that just finished, which means we're going to have a lot more in terms of income coming next month, and that's good, but we missed this month by one day. Otherwise, we would have gotten that payout. But now we're looking at uh, we have a little bit of cash. Where to go next is optional. I mean, there's different ways to go, but here's what I'm going to do. Uh, the recreational pool is so simple, so cheap. It really doesn't pay much though, right? We're, we're only gaining 2000 a month. So it's gonna take itself a while to, to pay off. But first off, that the upgrade is super cheap. Second, it's only gonna take a month to complete. And third, it's gonna push into whatever the next level is. And maybe the next level actually comes with a decent amount of, of income or some sort of unlock for us. I don't know, it's a recreational pool. but. I just want to, I don't know, I just want to get it done. And it's more about seeing what is next than what is there. But as cheap as it is, it just feels weird not to just check it off the list. Even though it's really not going to pay itself off very well. 
Our first attribute into the green is the one that I've been targeting, which is speed. So it's now at 13. Balance also going plus one. Uh, lob and smash both going plus one. Focus going plus one. So another good week in training. That's plus five to our overall attributes, of course. This is all going to slow down a lot as we get better. Each level takes more than the previous levels. That's why that min-max works so well uh, early on. And that's why the speed took a bit longer to get to that 13. Because as it climbs, the gains just decrease. But anyway, that means I'm going to now turn my attention. Now that speed is to a good level, I want to get pretty much everything up to a 13. And then we start focus training. This is what I did uh, in the last series and it does work really well you train up all the easy stuff get it up there get good by that point if you get everything to 13s you're going to be competitive on that world tour level and you're going to bring in a lot more money in terms of the finances and you're going to keep a, a player fairly happy despite still being young then you specialized and it, it takes a lot longer to you know get to really good get to 18s and whatnot but anyway that means the next target well i'm going to stay in that physical realm in fact i'd like to get all of those up to about a 13 so that you are able to move across the court quickly easily you know the reflexes are there all the base work is there uh, no amount of skill can overcome somebody who is just slow as molasses in in real life in the real world and and realistically in the the match engine so you get good physically and then you develop the technical skills it makes a big difference uh, i suppose my real world example i have a teammate who's got all the technical skill in the world just crazy soccer aka football uh, crazy technical ability can dribble like no other but still ends up losing the ball every time because they can out dribble one, two, three, four players, and then eventually the fifth player or the third player or that second player will take the ball off of them. So they turn it over constantly. I'm the opposite. I'm I'm super fast and I my work rate is crazy high and I go out and I make most of the defensive stops for my, my team. I create a lot of the offense for my team, even though I'm a center back, because I just hustle and work and get into places and so that footwork that agility you know that that combination to to just be out there and do things combined with good passing but i i don't have the technical skill otherwise i i blocked two balls off the line in our last game i scored a goal and we only scored one goal in the game and it was me as a center back not the player who should be scoring, who doesn't help us on defense, who doesn't do those things because they are slow as molasses and their work rate is low. But anyway, that's that's neither here nor there, I suppose. That's the type of player I'm trying to build first and then turn them into the technical powerhouse. So our last ever 60-level junior tournament, because I will never register for another tournament this small, uh, does result in a finals victory. The semifinal, though, was the first set that we've lost in quite a while. And then one of the sets that we won came off of tiebreaker, meaning we got quite the challenge. And it was considered a balanced match in that semifinal. The final itself, though, was, was pretty easy. And you can see how well we, we tend to control things. 29, uh, 25 total winners to 21. 14 on four stairs to 20. We're just better than pretty much everybody we're going up against here recently so we get another 60 level tournament victory to our name that brought about an end to the clay season and we have gone from 237th in the rankings up to 81st pretty good climb during that stretch uh, the points won was really good because we played six tournaments and we won five of those tournaments including five in a row or at least four in a row. Let's see, how many have we had since we started this episode? Uh, whatever the case may be, uh, we are in cruise control now. Uh, prize money, not a lot though, just 12000 It's still something. 
you know, it does add to the total, uh, but with a 97% win rate, it, it's clear that we are done with those 60 level tournaments. Even those 100 level tournaments look to be a little on the easy side for us already. So I, I think in the future, I'm going to start registering just for the highest level junior tournaments. Uh, for the next year or so before we start trying to compete in the women's tour. A high rate of improvement continues as we get five more attribute points this week. Forehand accuracy, return, agility, natural reflexes, uh, natural fitness both reaching 13 now as well, and then reflexes up to 10. So that means at least short-term footwork balance and reflexes are where my attention will be trying to get those up to 13. Uh, and then we'll bring the stamina along, the mental attributes, trying to get those all up to 13. That's that's our targets in the short term. Uh, my first bid for a junior Grand Slam has been denied. Our rank not quite high enough just yet. And instead, I got an invite for our first ever World Tour tournament. And I was like, you know, sure, sure, why not? Let's see where we're at. In the meantime, our push for bigger tournaments has, well, <laughs> it started. We have our first 300 level tournament in Berlin, junior still, but uh, difficult draw, really difficult draw. The three seed, the fifth ranked junior player, Mar Marcinko, I would say, based on the uh, Croatian heritage. Uh, Marcinko is probably a step too good for us at this stage and we might be out in the first round first set so it may only be the first round but being the biggest opponent we've played against yet i figured why not let's get into this one and we score the first point so you know we're not getting skunked or anything let's see how we compare uh, to this opponent as we uh, progress through this first game uh, we are pumped we are fresh she enters this match not uh, in her best form. A uh, little long on that ball. And we're having a, a much harder time with our lack of technical skill. Uh, really putting too much pressure on her. I, I think a lot of that's coming down to power. We just don't hit the ball with a ton of power. And her, with good reactions and good physical compared to what we've been playing against, is having a pretty easy time reaching the balls that we're putting in play Ooh, just long there and it's 30 all uh, but anyway she's a little tired though she is enthusiastic so you know it's only the first round so there's not much pressure at this stage 14, if that's 30. in we lose and we do lose that one Second service. now trailing 30 40 deuce. nice ball though to get deuce start to speed things up a little bit especially when it's only the first round of this tournament with service though it looks like we are gonna win our first game of the match and we do but we do seem to be a little outmatched here can we break though we do oh we break we've found some rhythm here trailing just two games to three now and with service, we've won three straight games after going down early. And we're going to break again. We are breaking again. Boy, she was all over us winning the first three games. But we have won three straight. Five straight. Sorry. Five straight now. And we might still win this opening set. That's saying a lot, though, if you're beating the number five junior ranked player this early in our career. <laughs> This early in our career i mean i see that we're rising through the ranks and deservedly so in that, that you know how rapidly we are developing but we shouldn't yes. be beating the number five player yet you know outside of the top 25 Advantage. that's fine i understand uh but Fault. Second we're on the verge of getting out of this first round pulling the upset Out. deuce and fairly comfortably Advantage. Oh. 5-1. We won six Game straight games. Game. We won six straight games after losing the opening three in the first set, and then we win six out of seven in the second set. 
I mean, that's that's 12 out of 13 games over that stretch against the number five junior player. That's that's too too good. Second round was against somebody similarly ranked. We lose the first set. We win the second set on a tiebreaker and then comfortably take the third set. Six aces, 65 total winners. Identical number of unforced errors. Just coming out on top. It's good to see that it's a closer match. Let's, let's hope I don't win this tournament because, uh, again, with the... It's too soon. Pick up a cramp in that match, but we do get through it, and it's only a one-day thing, so it looks like we'll be fine by tomorrow. We are recovered in time for the quarterfinal match against now a top 50 opponent, and we cruise past her 6-3-6-1. It's an old favorite of ours, Nogunye, the number three ranked junior here in the semis. She was on my team in Tennis Manager 2021 for quite a while. We developed her into a top 25 player in the world uh, before she didn't have a contract objective that that was met. She left the team and moved on. Uh, but if we get past this one, we can have to play the number one junior, Fru Vertova, who we knew her as Frit Vertova without the mod, uh, Fru Vertova was also a member of our team. So both of them were with us and Fruvertova we worked with for a long time. Okay, it's good to see it's supposed to be a tough match. Please let this be that stumbling block that knocks us off. No, 6-2, six 6-2. Two, six two. It's too easy. That They still need some balancing work. Let's hope that update comes soon. All right, so we are up against Fru Vertova. I am not going to mess with the tactics at all on this one. Uh, I do not want to give myself any more advantages than I already possess. Here's to hope that we do not win a 300-level tournament against the number one junior. We already knocked off the number three junior, and that's just not right. We knocked off the number five junior as well in this tournament. That's... We will, we will endure. We will get through this. We're gaining Four, too six, much six, too six. early. Um, uh, yes, we're up against a junior, but I mean, come on. Have you, have you seen my technical skills? Uh, right, it's it's threes and fours and fives. We should not be beating the top junior. We should not be beating the top junior six to one. You know, even if the physicals are good enough now to compete with the number one junior, the technicals certainly aren't there yet. Dame set match, 300 level tournament winner. That's going to shoot us right up the rankings. This was supposed to be a tough match. So on paper, we are not the same players, but the match engine looks beautiful, but the simulation players seems to be gaining an advantage that uh, makes us a little too OP. It's okay though. They'll they'll fix it. It will be fixed. And for my next upgrade, our press conference room is going to go it's already at level 1. We're going to push it up to level 2. It's going to bring in an additional 54,000 a month at the cost of 8,000, so an increase of about 48k per month. For the cost of 325 which means it's going to pay itself off in what seven months eight months and it's going to take just one month to be built so that's that's a pretty healthy upgrade in terms of our finances the prog progression seems to be still very very rapid another six attribute points serve power forehand power backhand power all playing catch up they've all jumped very rapidly to fives and sixes from the lowest level we could on those. Uh, the footwork and balance, where I've been focusing my attention now, already jumping up 11 and 12. And then the tactical skills also reaching level 12. It looks like anticipation is about to level up as well. But based on where everything is suddenly, I see it taking a little bit longer. It looks like maybe the footwork, uh, the smash, and the anticipation are the only ones that are on the verge of uh, 
leveling up. So until the update happens that's going to address the balancing a bit, we're in danger of really, really rapidly leveling up a little bit too quickly. So there's the potential to get a little too far along and therefore I, I don't want to push too fast through things right now. We're going to keep the series going, absolutely. And that there's now is not the time to just pull up and stop. It's but it is also not the time to just fly through a season and and see ourselves, you know, become the world number one at the age of fourteen or fifteen or something along those lines. That would be crazy. We do have our first ever women's world tour uh, tournament coming up, and it's qualifying rounds. So it's a WTA International 80 tournament. That's that's a big tournament that we've been invited to for a wild card. Now, right now, they've got us la labeled as 10,000 on our ranking. That's because we've never scored a world tour point, as we've never competed in a world tour event. So that, I think, is your generic nothing rank. What we have is the 15 seat for the invites. 810 is her ranking. Let's hope that it's us going out there and just getting hammered. But we don't know that that's the case uh, at this stage in the proceedings. So we're going to wait to see what happens with this one next time. We're going to open our next episode with this tournament. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.